Welcome! In this video, we'll show you the rigging procedure for a vertical array. To start, extend both front links of the first cabinet. At the rear, release the locking pin of the splay link. Pull out the link to the extended length and turn the extension tube head counterclockwise by 90 degrees to lock it in place. The next step is to prepare the flying frame. The frame travels in the back of the A-series touring case. The array can be suspended using one or two E6507 one-ton shackles and appropriate lifting devices or steel wire ropes. In single pick point operation, array calc serves the respective single pick point number on the center bar to achieve the overall vertical aiming of the entire array. In dual pick point operation, the vertical aiming of the entire array is set by trimming the respective lifting devices. The center bar of the flying frame features a total of 28 holes to allow for a wide range of overall tilt angles. The tie bar of the flying frame provides two safety points for the attachment of the Z5454 AL safety chain and a position for the cable pick. Attach the flying frame on top of the cabinet until the front links of the cabinet fit into the slots at the front of the frame. Lift the back of the flying frame until the front links are engaged. Insert the cabinet splay link into the slot of the flying frame, insert the locking pin and ensure it's properly locked. Lift the whole assembly to a suitable working height. To attach the second cabinet, extend both front links. With one person per side, attach the second cabinet at an angle of approximately 90 degrees to the corresponding slots at the front of the upper cabinet. Slightly lower the cabinet until the front links have engaged. Raise the back of the bottom cabinet. The splay angles between adjacent cabinets are set on the central rear rigging strands of the cabinets. The splay angle can be set from 20 to 40 degrees in 5 degree increments. Depending on the desired splay angle, the extension tube of the splay link must be connected in the standard or the extended length. At the rear rigging strand, release the corresponding locking pins of the splay links on the top and bottom cabinets. Set the links to the required length and turn the extension tube head counterclockwise by 90 degrees. Align the prepared splay link with the corresponding hole of the rear rigging strand of the upper cabinet. Insert the locking pin and ensure that it is properly locked. To add further cabinets, proceed in the same manner until the assembly is completed. When closing the lid of the touring case, make sure to place it in the right orientation so that the arrow points towards the dot. 